From big military vehicles that were fighting in the hardest battles to legendary sports cars, here are 10 cars found underwater. Jaguar MK2 Jaguars are elegant, luxury cars originally from the UK, and the Jaguar MK2 is a classic car that any serious car enthusiast would be more than thrilled to have in their garage. The Jaguar Mark II was first built in late 1959 to replace the 2.4 and 3.4 liter saloons known as MK1. MK2 was produced until 1967 and it gained a reputation as a good car for law enforcement and criminals also appearing in many films. One was found in absolutely atrocious condition back in 2019 when a scuba team pulled it out of the Willamette River. While it seems more like a commercial for diving gear, it was found by the guys over at the Adventures with Purpose YouTube channel. Nobody has any idea how long the Jaguar car had been sitting underneath the water near a boat ramp into the river, but it was successfully pulled from the water after a short struggle. However, it did not appear to be worth the effort as this once beautiful red sports car is now absolutely trashed. There is no way anyone is restoring this vehicle. It is rusted beyond repair, the interior is completely destroyed, the tires are ruined, and so are the wheel wells, and in order to get into the trunk, the team completely ripped it apart with a giant pry bar. Yes, this Jaguar MK2 is a beautiful car that got pulled out of a river, but I don't think anyone is ever driving this car again. If it were me, I think I would have just left it in the river to become a luxury house for some fish. What about you? Chevrolet Silverado this is a recent one, just a few months into 2020, and the Australian Maritime Safety Authority recovered almost a dozen shipping containers that had been accidentally dumped off of a vessel near the Australian coast in 2018. Among the relatively boring things discovered inside of the containers were a pair of Chevrolet Silverados. These big, heavy-duty diesels would have been sold in Australia, but after two years spent submerged in the extremely salty Pacific Ocean, I doubt there are going to be many buyers lining up, probably not even for a steep discount. And that is a real shame because these are some serious trucks. Chevy Silverados come with impressive Duramax engines and sell for around $134,000 brand new in the land down under. That is nothing to sneeze at. According to an Australian report, the trucks were on their way to be converted from left-hand to right-hand drive. It looks like they will be no-hand drive now. There's not much that can be done to fix two years of severe water damage. You can barely fix a flooded engine, never mind a completely flooded truck. Still, this pair of trucks was a pretty cool find at the bottom of the sea. Red Jeep This is probably the most infamous vehicle ever discovered under the water, and it was not even that deep under the water. Back in Myrtle Beach during Hurricane Dorian, a red jeep became stuck in the sand and drew a whole lot of attention to it, with video footage and memes sprouting up almost instantly. The jeep became such a viral sensation that people quickly flocked to the beach to take photographs with it, even climbing onto the jeep while the storm began to close in, the waves becoming extremely dangerous and the police trying to shut down that area of the beach. But still, the people kept coming and the memes kept being shoveled onto the internet. There was even a point where a man came with a pair of bagpipes and played Amazing Grace as a funeral song for the Jeep. However, the Jeep did survive the night and did not end up being swept all the way out to sea. The actual owner of the red Jeep later came forward and claimed that his cousin had borrowed the vehicle in order to capture video of the sunrise before the storm, but ended up getting stuck. The Jeep was removed soon after the storm and the Myrtle Beach police even posted a photograph of the backhoe that had to drag the Jeep away. Ford Mustang Mach 1 and Mazda RX-7 This is a two-for-one special. You remember number 10 on the list? The guys who dragged the Jaguar MK2 out of the river? Well, these same guys lifted a Mazda RX-7 and a 1973 Ford Mustang Mach 1 out of another river, this time in Portland, Oregon. Supposedly, there had been rumors of a girl who dumped her boyfriend's car into that same river 20 years prior after she had caught him cheating on her. The story had been the motivation for the team to go down there, and much to their surprise, they ended up finding six vehicles submerged underwater. After being submerged for decades, it is safe to say the Mustang is never going to be restored. In fact, the only vehicle they managed to get out of the water was the Mazda RX-7, which was in pretty terrible shape. The windshield was smashed, the entire vehicle was full of muck and pretty much everything was ruined. Among their discoveries was also a Chevrolet LUV pickup truck, which they surmised could have belonged to the supposed cheating boyfriend. Nobody knows exactly why so many vehicles were dumped into the river in the same location, but it certainly makes for an interesting mystery. Why do you think those cars are underwater? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Military vehicles.
If you happen to be swimming off the coast of Aqaba, you will be surprised to discover an entire collection of underwater military vehicles spread along the ocean floor. There are approximately 19 decommissioned pieces of military hardware sitting 92 feet below the surface of the water, but they aren't there by mistake. They are part of Jordan's first underwater military museum, which includes tanks, a helicopter, and troop carrier vehicles all positioned in battle formation. Currently, they are all sitting patiently in the Red Sea. According to a report by the BBC, Jordan hopes this underwater collection of very cool military vehicles is going to intrigue visiting tourists as a new type of museum experience. Personally, I think it is a waste of perfectly good tanks that I could be driving around my neighborhood. But I will admit, discovering this awesome platoon of war machines in the murky darkness of the Red Sea is such an amazing experience, and that is why if you are at the Red Sea, you shall enjoy this fascinating opportunity. Motorcycle Trash Up north in Canada and Quebec, to be exact, local people were looking to reopen some swimming locations that had been previously closed for almost half a century. The problem was too much trash. Scuba divers went down to the bottom of the St. Lawrence River to try and remove junk as part of a massive cleanup operation that would get the riverbed free of garbage. According to local CTV News, 60 divers went down and worked for an entire day to clean this section of the river and remove the trash. What they found on the bottom of the river was a gun, a lot of car tires, a pair of ice skates, a sign for a parking meter, and an entire motorbike. There was also a car down there, but it was too heavy for the divers to drag to the surface. But this isn't the first time a group of divers find a motorcycle underwater. For example, in 1941, the munitions ship SS Thistlegorm was shipwrecked by a German bomber off the coast of Egypt during World War II and lay for decades. It was discovered some years ago, and now it has turned into a world-class diving site. This place is full of amazing machines, and it has well-preserved motorcycles, but the cherries on the top are a couple of rusting Horton 16H that now are home of many fish that swim through their twisted metal. Submarine Sports Car Okay, this is not a car that has been found underwater, but it absolutely needed to be on this list anyway. This is known as the submarine sports car. It is considered the only car on Earth that can drive perfectly underwater and perfectly on land. That's right, this car can literally drive along the bottom of a lake, river, or swimming pool, and it does so beautifully. This incredible sports car comes equipped with an electric motor that allows it to drive 75 miles per hour, 121 kilometers per hour, beneath the surface of the water. That's faster than a lot of vehicles can go on land. I can see why it costs 2 million US dollars. The car itself was inspired by the Sub Lotus from the 1977 James Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me, and it looks amazing. The sports car is a convertible two-seater that acts just like a proper car when it's on the road, but floats the second it hits water, then by switching the lever, the car sinks below the water with you and your passenger safely connected to oxygen. The scuba tanks that are integrated into the car allow two people to breathe underwater for up to one hour. Talk about a joyride. Obviously, I see some pretty big issues with this car, like what happens if you can't drive back to the surface before your oxygen runs out? But this is more of a novelty than anything, and besides, I'm sure one day the submarine sports car will be stranded at the bottom of the ocean somewhere. What do you say? Would you like to drive it? Where would you go in this car? Let me know in the comments below. Volkswagen Beetle This one is a little different. Rather than a car being found mysteriously under the water, this Volkswagen Beetle sculpture was lowered there on purpose to become the newest exhibit of a renowned artist's underwater art museum in Cancun, Mexico. This Volkswagen sculpture can be found 26 feet, 8 meters, below the surface of the water near Isla Mujeres. The sculpture, which is an exact cement replica of the classic Volkswagen Beetle, has been designed specifically to have lots of nooks for marine life to live in thereby creating an artificial reef. This is definitely one of the coolest underwater cars that isn't exactly a car that you could ever see. According to the artist, this exhibition is supposed to be an artistic statement about the impact that humans and their technology have been having on our planet's ecosystems. And this is not the only sculpture found in the artist's underwater art museum. The same artist, named Jason DeCaris Taylor, has another 400 plus sculptures in Cancun's National Marine Park. But I have to say, there is only one Volkswagen Beetle sculpture, and it is definitely my favorite. I wonder what future humans will wonder when they discover this curious fossil 10,000 years from now. Train Wreck At the bottom of Lake Superior, along a rather remote stretch of the northern shore, a wreck was discovered unlike anything on this list. The wreck was from 106 years ago when a locomotive carrying a three-man crew went off track over the mountainside and crashed into the water. The locomotive then remained underneath the waves and was not discovered until just recently. 
The township of Schreiber was founded in the 1880s as the Canadian Pacific Railway was constructed across the South Zone off Ontario. This was an important place because it was a crew change point for trains. In 1910, a crew of three men joined the locomotive 694 of the CPR, who had to pass to the line right beside the Lake Superior. With a rock wall to the left and the lake to their right, the three-man crew found themselves bearing down on a rock slide dead ahead, strewn across the rails without a chance to avoid a crash. Even though they tried to escape, two of their bodies were found in the water, and the body of the fireman was never found. As you can imagine, the train car is in pretty rough condition. After over 100 years submerged, rust has taken its toll on this last locomotive, and while it cannot be raised to the surface as of yet, it was still a pretty amazing discovery for the local people of Lake Superior, as the story had developed into something of a myth over the last 100 years. Bugatti Type 22 Now let's travel to the Italian-Swiss border, where a 1925 Bugatti Type 22 Brescia Roadster was lifted from the water after 75 years submerged. As the story goes, the Bugatti had belonged to a grand Prix driver, Rain Dreyfus, who supposedly lost it in a drunken poker match to a Swiss man in Paris in 1934. On his way home with his new car, the Swiss man was unable to pay the import duties at the Swiss border. Instead of paying the import costs, the Swiss man chose to walk away and leave the Swiss border officials with his prize. So what did they do with it? Because it wasn't an important model car, they rolled the Bugatti straight into Lake Maggiore, and there it rested under 173 feet 53 meters of water until it was brought to the surface just recently in 2009 for an honorable reason. In 2008, a local boy was killed at a street fair, so a foundation was established in the victim's name to combat youth violence. The local diving club elected to raise the sunken Bugatti and donate the proceeds to the foundation, and the Type 22 emerged from the lake in July of 2009. Even though one part of the car is still at the bottom of the lake, it was suitably prepped and sold for around $370,000. The buyer was Peter Mullen, the founder of the Mullen Automotive Museum in Oxnard, California. Today, the Bugatti is located in its own room, walled off from the rest of the collection. Its room is designed to replicate the sensation of being underwater in the lake, with the minimal light levels of its bottom helping a viewer concentrate on the details that make this car an actual must-see work of art. Thanks for watching. Which of these underwater vehicles did you find the most intriguing? Have you ever found a cool object under the water? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up for more. See you next time!